Let's start. Today we will see how to implement a Recycler View checkbox in the Kotlin Android. Let's see the project structure. At the app level build.gradle file, write this plugin. Here we have the main activity, a model class, and an adapter class. And in this UI, we have the activity underscore main.xml file, which is the layout of the main activity. And the row underscore item.xml file, which is the layout of the single row of the recycler view. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have a recycler view inside a constraint layout. And in the row underscore item.xml file, the constraint layout is the root layout. Inside the constraint layout, we have a text view and a checkbox. Let's see the Kotlin code now. This is a model class with a string variable and a Boolean variable as the data members. These are the imports. This is the adapter class. These are the data members, and this is how we initialize them. In the onCreateViewHolder function, this is how we inflate the row underscore item.xml file. In the bindViewHolder function, this is how we get the data from the model class and set it in the text view and the checkbox. In the getItemCount function, this is how we get the count of the number of items in the recycler view. This is the ViewHolder class. When a checkbox is clicked, we handle its check-uncheck state. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. Here we have an array of string data, which we will use to populate the recycler view. In the onCreate function, first, we create an instance of the adapter class. Meanwhile, we call the getData function, which gives us the data that we will show in the recycler view. Then we set up the recycler view attributes. This is the getData function, where we convert the data from the array format to the array list format. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement a Recycler View checkbox in Kotlin Android. Thank you.